So today's video is going to be on this New Year's Eve full glam makeup. I definitely went all out for this one. I really wanted to do a beautiful cranberry purple smoky eye and I decided to pair it with a beautiful dark purple tone lipstick as well just because I think it's always fun to go with a dark lip with a smoky eye for a special occasion like New Year's. You can pretty much go all out, do what you love to do and I just think this colour paired beautifully with the colour on the eyes. Of course you can always swap it out for a nude or a different lip colour that you prefer but I just thought this look would be really beautiful for a New Year's Eve party look. If you are new to my channel, my name is Carly and welcome to my YouTube family. I post videos on makeup tutorials, hauls, first impressions and reviews. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below to see more videos. So let's just jump straight into the video. If you'd like to see how to get this full on New Year's Eve glam makeup look, with this beautiful cranberry and purple smoky eye and dark purple lip, then please keep watching. Starting with skin, I'm first going to spray some of this Elsie Cosmetics Hydra Enhancer Facial Mist to give my skin a hydration boost. For primer, I'm applying the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. This gives my skin a beautiful glowing look. For foundation, I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation in the shade 2.4 and using a damp beauty blender to blend that into the skin. This was my first time trying this foundation. It took a lot more product to build up to a medium to full coverage than I thought, but the color and finish were really nice on my skin. It wasn't too matte or drying. For concealer, I'm using the Becca Aquiluminous Concealer in the shade Light and concealing under my eyes, on the forehead, down the nose, side of the nose, chin, sides of the mouth and also spot concealing a few blemishes I have on my cheeks. Then blending it out with my damp beauty blender. I absolutely love this concealer, it looks so natural but has great coverage. I love using this on its own for days where I don't wear any foundation. To bake, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Loose Setting Powder and using my Beauty Blender to set all the areas I applied concealer. While the powder sets, I'm going to cream contour using this Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow Palette and taking the cream contour shade on my Beauty Blender to contour my cheekbones temples, forehead and also to contour down the sides of my nose. This was my first time using this palette and I will say the colour is very pigmented but it blends out beautifully on the skin. Now I'm dusting away the excess powder with a Dose of Colours setting powder brush to leave a flawless base. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium and dusting that all over the areas I didn't bake with a Morphe R2 Big Powder Brush. To bronze up my skin, I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep on a Morphe Angled Cheek Brush and bronzing my cheeks, temples and forehead. I'm also going to set the cream contour down the sides of my nose with this bronzer using a Morphe M441 brush. I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and picking up the shade Subconscious on the Kat Von D Contour Brush and contouring the hollows of my cheeks. To clean up and sharpen that contour, I'm using the banana shade called Lyric with the opposite side of the Kat Von D brush. To highlight my cheeks, I'm first going in with a liquid highlighter. This is the Iconic London Illuminator Drops and using my damp beauty blender to apply it to the tops of the cheekbones, above the brows, down the center of the nose, tip of the nose and Cupid's bow. To intensify the highlights some more, I'm taking this Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator Powder in the shade Ballerina 
on a Morphe Y14 highlight brush and applying that on top of the liquid illuminator. This is such a beautiful light pink rose gold colour which complements the cranberry and purple tones I'll be using on the eyes and lips. For blush, I'm taking this Makeup Geek blush in the shade Heartthrob on a MAC 137 brush and dusting that on the apples of the cheeks to give a beautiful soft flush of pink. I'm spraying some more of that Elsie Facial Mist to help melt the powder products into the skin, giving it a more dewy look. Moving on to brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the colour Chocolate and using an angle brush to carve out the bottom and top of the brows. I then go in and fill in the centre and lightly fill in the front of the brow, turning my brush and flicking the product upwards to give a more natural look. I'm setting my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. For the eyes, I'm using this Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette and first picking up this warm reddish brown shade called Amber on my Morphe M441 brush and blending that along the upper crease as our transition shade. I'm using a MAC 221 brush to blend that colour along the lower lash line. Picking up this Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette, I'm taking this matte cranberry shade and applying that more directly into the crease with a Zoeva 224 Luxe Defined Crease Brush. Going back with the MAC 221 brush, I'm blending that along the lower lash line to darken the colour. Picking up this chocolate brown shade from the Desert Dusk palette, I'm applying that to the outer corners with the MAC 221 brush. Taking my Morphe brush with no extra product, I'm blending out the edges of all those shades. Using a Dose of Colours pencil brush, I'm lining the lower lash line closely to the waterline with that chocolate brown shade. Picking up this dark purple shade from the Obsessions palette, I'm further darkening the outer corners and giving it more of a purple tone. On the same Dose of Colours pencil brush, I'm darkening up the lower lash line some more with that purple colour. Taking this bright cranberry shimmer shade called Turkish Delight from the Desert Dust palette, I'm pressing that all over the lid with a Dose of Colours synthetic concealer brush. This colour looked incredible and the pigmentation is amazing. I'm applying some of that shade along the front of the lower lash line. To add some glitter sparkle, I'm using this Stiller Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Next to Knot and applying that straight on top of the lid shade. This is such a beautiful cranberry purple glitter colour. Using my MAC 221, I'm blending out the edges of those shadows. Using the same Laura Geller Ballerina Highlighter, I'm highlighting the inner corners of the eyes and the brow bone. To line the waterline, I'm using this Kylie Cosmetics eyeliner in the shade Dark Bronze. For mascara, I'm applying the Benefit Roller Lash to my top and bottom lashes. For lashes, I'm using my favourite Huda Beauty lashes in the style Samantha. Now for lips, I'm lining my lips and filling them in with this Colourpop and I Love Serohi lip liner called Mamacita, which is a dark cranberry purple shade. On top, I'm using this Dose of Colours liquid lipstick in collaboration with Desi and Katie called Savage, which is a rich dark purple shade. To finish off the look, I'm spraying some of the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm absolutely obsessed with this cranberry purple smoky eye. I just think it's so beautiful with the touch of glitter as well. And this deep purple toned lip colour is everything as well. I absolutely love it. And I think this look would be perfect for any New Year's Eve event. Or you could of course wear this anytime you're going out to a party or an event. And I think this look would complement lots of different skin tones. 
If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I'll have another video coming next week with my part two of my Black Friday sales haul. I know it's taken me a little while to put that up, but I wanted to get in some Christmas and New Year's makeup tutorials first. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.